Tullamore, West Virginia. This is a video on building round piles of firewood. In October of 2012, Superstorm Sandy hit West Virginia with one of the worst snowstorms in years. When the famous storm hit, I was left with more firewood than I knew what to do with. Here is Ralph Russell splitting firewood with his 22-ton Husky wood splitter. This wood came from Superstorm Sandy. Trees that was down in fields, driveways, and roads. I got this wood from all over the community. As you can see, it's quite a large pile of wood. Here you see the cameraman giving me a hand. Wow, he's a big help. Here is my helper, Paul Russell. He helps me part time when he's not working at his other jobs. We worked all summer, hauling and cutting wood and bringing it in, and then splitting it up into firewood. Paul is a good helper. He also writes and sings gospel music, if anyone is interested. The problem with all the wood I hauled in, I did not have a large enough space to stack all of the wood. So I done some research on the internet and I found that the Germans have a good idea when it comes to stacking wood. A Holzen house, or sometimes called a Holden house, is supposedly a European method of stacking wood. The wood is stacked around the outside layer and in the middle the wood is thrown in. The round pile is six feet tall with a slope top for water drainage. Here you can see I'm getting ready for a day of splitting wood. If you can see I have an umbrella over my wood splitter, I like to work in the shade. It's a whole lot cooler with an umbrella over you. Plus, on rainy days, you can split wood all day long. Here's a round pile of wood that's almost finished. It just needs a slope on the top. Looks like I'll have to haul in some more wood to finish it. As you can see, the wood is pretty smooth as we go around it. For just stacking it up, I never took any special pains of doing it, just stacking it as I went. Here's a finished pile of round firewood. I placed an American flag on the top of it just to catch people's eyes as they drove by. As the wind blows it, it turns in the direction of the wind. As you can see how close we are to the road, many people were stopping and taking pictures of these. This was my first attempt at making round piles of wood. It was 
something different, a different adventure. So I hope you liked it. I didn't go into detail stacking the wood because I did not have the time to take video of each and everything I done. Here you can see a car in the video. This will give you some idea of how big the wood piles are. So I hope you like my video.